Hey guys, welcome back to Everyday We're Calculating. Today we are going to be working on multi digit multiplication. So, all my fifth graders, you actually need to be able to be fluent in multiplication in fifth grade as it is very, very important for all of the other standards that you're going to learn this year. So let's get started. I'm going to show you the first method, which is the standard form. I have the number 365 and I want to multiply it by 23. I am going to put the numbers in place value order form. So I have the number 365, which the 3 is in the hundreds place, the 6 is in the tens place, and the 5 is in the ones place, times 23. So I have my 3 that goes under the 5 in the ones place, and my 2 which goes under the 6 in the tens place. So let's work this problem out. The first thing I'm going to do is multiply my 3, which is in the ones place, times my 5, my 6, and my 3. So if I multiply my 3 times 5, I'm going to get 15. And what we know about place value is you're going to place your 5 in the 1's place and you're going to regroup that 1 in the 10's place. Then you're going to multiply 3 times 6, which is 18, plus that 1, that gives you 19. So your 9 goes in the 10's place and that 1 goes in the 100's place. And finally, 3 times 3 is 9 plus that 1 is 10. So on my first row right below my problem, I should have the number 1095. So now we are going to move into the 10's place and multiply that 2. But before you do that, make sure you drop that 0 and you put a 0 as a placeholder in the 1's place. You want to do this because we are now multiplying in the tens place. So if we do not put that zero there, our numbers are going to be in the wrong place value and our numbers, our answer is going to be incorrect. So we are going to put a zero below the five in the ones place and now multiply. So two times five is ten. So you're going to put a zero now in the tens place and then you're going to regroup that one in the tens place on top of the six. Now you're going to do two times six plus that one, which is 13. So you're going to put your three in the hundreds place, add that one on top of the hundreds place. And your final step, you're going to multiply three times your two, which is six plus that one is seven. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to add both of my partial products. So my final answer should be 8,395. All right, so our next strategy is using the area model strategy. So I'm going to take my same number, which was 365, and we're going to multiply that by 23. So. The first thing you're going to do is draw your box. So the area model is also known as a box method. In this case, more like a rectangle. So I am going to take my first factor, which is 365, and I am going to write that in expanded form. So the expanded form is when you are taking the number and you are going to put it by its value. So because the 3 is in the hundreds place, the value is 300, plus the 6 is in the tens place, so it's 60, plus the 5 is in the 1, so it's 5. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this on the outside of my box in a row. And because I have three digits, I need three rows. So I'm going to do 300, then I'm going to do 60, and then I'm going to do 5. So you're going to do the same thing for the second factor, which is 23. This is a two-digit number, so I'm only going to split my rows into two. So this is 20, because the two was in the tens place, plus three ones. So what you're doing is you're multiplying each column by each row. So I'm going to do row one times column one, 
row one times column two and row one times column three. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do row two times column one, row two times column two, and row two times column three. And these are going to be called partial products because I'm multiplying and I don't have the full answer yet. Then at the end, we are going to add them all together. So here's a little trick to help you with multiplication without knowing how to multiply the large numbers. So I'm going to take the base of my number, which is 2 times 3, and I know that is 6. So here I notice I still have 1, 2, 3 zeros left. And I'm just going to add those 3 zeros to the back. So instead of saying 300 times 20, and your mind is all flustered because you don't know, you just multiply the numbers, then add the zeros later. So here, 2 times 6 is 12, and I have 1, 2, zeros. Don't forget your comma after every three numbers. Then I have 2 times 5 is 10, plus that one zero. So this one is complete. Now I have 3 times 3, which is 9, plus two zeros is 900. 3 times 6 is 18, plus one zero is 180, and 3 times 5 is 15. So I have six different numbers or partial products. So now I am going to add all these together and that is going to give me the product of 365 times 23. So I like to put the numbers in place value and from greatest to least because it makes sense. So I've used my 6,000. Now I have 1,200. Next I have 900. And this is very important that you're putting them in the right place value and that your addition is correct. 180, 100, and 15. So again, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers that are from here because 3 times 2 is 6, so I should have 6 boxes. So basically, you multiply the number of digits together and that's how you know how many boxes you have. So now for my ones place, I have five ones. For my tens, I have eight plus one, which is nine tens. Here I have one plus one plus nine, which is 11 plus two, which is 13. Then I need to regroup. And then I have one plus six plus one, which is eight. One, two, three, comma. And my product is 8,390. Five. That is the area model strategy. Our final strategy is called the lattice method. Now this one is definitely new school, but it works. So I'm going to take my same number, 365 times 23. So in this one, you are still going to draw a box just like the area model. You're going to have six boxes because three digits times two digits is six. So here is my box. And I'm gonna separate it by three columns. It doesn't matter if this is your columns and this is your rows or vice versa, you're gonna get the same answer. So an area model, you broke it down by expanded form. This time, you're just gonna put the digit. The digit is just the number. So I have three, six, Five. Now I have 23. This time, instead of putting it on the left, we are going to put it on the right. And then I have 23, or 2 and 3. The next thing you're going to do is you're basically going to split each box in half. So I'm going to split that in half, but I'm going to make it come all the way out because my answers are going to be at the bottom. Then I'm going to take this corner and go all the way through. I'm going to take this corner, go all the way through, and right here. So notice each box I split in half. So it looks like two little triangle cut sandwiches. Now, all you're going to do is multiply the digits starting over here in essentially the ones place. So 5 times 2 is 10. So there's my zero and my one. 
5 times 3 is 15. 6 times 2 is 12. Again, we're doing the same thing as area model. We are multiplying the row by the column. 6 times 3 is 18. 3 times 2 is 6. So it's 0, 6, and 3 times 3 is 9. So now it just looks like a maze. It just looks like a bunch of numbers. But what you're going to do is you're going to add not the products. I'm, I'm sorry, not the factors. You're going to add only what is inside of the boxes together. So here, I don't have anything this share, so this is a 5. Here, I have 0, 1, and 8 within this column right here. So it's 8 plus 1 is 9. Here, I have 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 9 is going to give me 9 plus 1 is 10 plus 2 and 1 is 13. You still must regroup. Now it's 6 plus 1 plus 1 is 8. And my answer is again 8,395. So I got the same answer that I got for the last two. So whichever strategy you like, you can use as long as you get the right answer. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and invite.